Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And if your RV has two air conditioners, then it most likely is going to be a 50 amp RV. And it's always best, whenever you can, to get electrical hookup that provides 50 amps. However, it can run on a 30 amp electrical hookup. But then, with only 30 amps, you have to conserve energy. And you usually cannot run both air conditioners at the same time. You'll find probably that you're going to have to run the front air conditioner to cool off the front end and then turn that off and then turn on the rear air conditioner to cool down the rear end. And that works fine, but it's always nice to have 50 amps so you can run everything. But from time to time, you're going to find yourself in an RV park or a campground where it does not have a 50 amp connection. The best you've got is 30 amps. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get 50 amps out of a 30 amp power box. And this is an example of that. There's a 30 amp connection there and a 20 amp connection there and it has the 30 amp and 20 amp breakers. Now the 50 amp power boxes would have a 50 amp connector right here. But since I only have the 30 and the 20, what I can do, and what I'm going to show you how to do, is if you, you can use both the 30 and the 20 and get 50 amps out of it. I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you have a 50 amp RV, I'm sure you know by now that it's easy to get a, a, an adapter that will change the 50 amp connection to a 30 amp connection. Now in order to use this 20 amp connection, although now most often they're not, instead of a 20 amp connection right there, you're going to have a 15 amp connection. That would give you 45 amps instead of 50, but both the 15 and 20 have the connection like this, which is an ordinary household electrical outlet. So all you have to do is plug in a regular ordinary extension cord into there. But the question is, how are you going to get that extension cord into your RV? Now in my case, the only window that I have where the screen will open is at the driver's seat here. And that would take a really long extension cord to run it from the box to here and then from there back to the RV wherever I need it. That can easily be done, but then you're leaving your screen a little bit open. This is my kitchen window. I could poke a hole in there if I want to, but I don't really want to. But you may find in your particular RV, that's what you have to do to get an extension cord from the inside to the outside is just to poke a hole in the screen where you open the window. But I'm going to show you another option. Now in my motorhome, it came from the factory with this little compartment here. And this gives you access to the back of the refrigerator. That's the purpose of that. And I'm going to go inside now and show you how I utilize that for my electrical connection. All of my electrical outlets in the RV are wired through that 50 amp, 30 amp connection that I showed you. So what I did was, right next to my refrigerator, I installed this outlet here. And when I installed that outlet, I can, behind it I just connected an ordinary extension cord. So now I'm going to go outside and show you where the power from that cord goes to. The cord that I connected to that outlet is right here. It just conveniently happened to be right where I needed it, right next to the refrigerator. So all I have to do now is plug this into that electrical box. This cord though is way too short for that. So I just got a, another extension cord. So I plug a second extension cord and now I can plug this into here. So now I've got 50 amps coming into my motorhome. Unfortunately, it's not 50 amps going to the same connection because you can't actually combine these two and have both 50 amps come through this cord. There is a 
adapter that combines these two into one, but it will not work when you've got one of these reset buttons here. That just defeats it. So what I've got here is I got 30 amp coming out of this one, 20 amp coming out of this one. So I can use this to run my air conditioner and some other things and use this one that goes to that one outlet I showed you where I can just plug certain things into there. Now if nothing is running but my two air conditioners, I can run those two air conditioners off of 30 amps. But if anything else kicks on, if I plug anything else in, that could very easily cause it the tripper breaker, which then causes power outage completely until I reset it. So if I need to use something that's going to be too much power for my 30 amp connection, then I just use that one dedicated outlet. So before you poke a hole into a window screen, see if you've got someplace else where you can run a cord inside the RV. Like that one was ideal for me behind the refrigerator. This one is behind the water heater right under the sink. That would be a possibility. There's also a more elaborate way you can do it where you can run a cord into the electrical compartment here and then have a permanent connection on the outside and the inside whereas I have a permanent connection only on the inside. That's another option too but it's much more extensive installation. So I hope this video has helped you. Good day folks.